Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video I'm just doing like a little shop my stash, get ready with me, lots of rambling, lots of chatting. So if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. Notice anything different about me? I got my hair done, obviously. My sister-in-law came down, or came up, came up. That is the one thing that I am the worst at, is if I'm talking about like, so for instance, I live in Oregon, and if I'm saying I'm going to Washington, I'll be like, oh, I'm going down to Washington, when in reality I'm going up to Washington. And my best friend, it's like her biggest pet peeve of mine, and I do it all the time. I can't help it, it's just who I am. So that's what it is. But anyways, my sister-in-law came up to my house and did my hair for me yesterday. She always does my hair. I just really was needing like a little refresh. I mean, honestly, I should have done this in the beginning of summer. Now that it's the end of August, it's kind of like, what was I thinking? But my wedding anniversary is this weekend and I wanted just, you know, a little refresh. I wanted to feel better. So I got a trim. It's still pretty long, but she did cut like two inches off and obviously... We lightened me all up. It feels literally like I lost 10 pounds. Like I have so much hair that after I get a haircut, I just feel like I literally lost weight. Um, but I love it. I love being blonde. It's just who I am. I've been blonde literally for like 10 years, 10 plus years at this point because I've been bleaching my hair forever. I'm thinking about though making a little bit of change in my hair this fall, but who knows? I might chicken out. Who knows? Anyways. Let's just get into this look. I'm kind of just doing like a basic get ready with me, shop my stash type of video today. I already threw on just like a quick brow. I used the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. Recently, I've been really loving just like a quick brow gel brow. I haven't been really liking like a super structured brow. I think honestly, it's just like laziness, but whatever. So I went ahead and did that already. Let's do some eye makeup. So first I'm going to prime my eyes using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer. I love this stuff because it's not like super thick and it doesn't like completely cover up the coloration and like the veins in my eyes. I don't really mind if that shows through because I feel like if like a little bit of veins or a little bit of my natural eyelid color shines through it like I don't know, it just adds to the look. I just really like the way that it looks. I don't really mind a little bit of my veins showing through. So I'll just put that on and then I'm gonna tap a tiny bit of powder on top of that. I'm just gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and quickly just the lightest dusting just because like I don't really like a sticky base I know that's like all the rage right now with eyeshadow primers is like to leave a sticky base but I just it's not for me I'm not into it so the palette I'm gonna be using today is actually one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes this is the rustic glam palette by Dominique cosmetics it's actually like super huge like look at it compared to my head me open her up and show you guys. I love this palette. I just really love the formulation of the shadows. I love the coloring. And today what I think I want to do is like a pop of blue on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this color right here in suede and put that all over the eyelid and then buff it out with this top color right here in fringe. So just really quickly with these two all over the lid. I actually really love this suede color. It's probably my most used color out of this palette. It's just a beautiful, like, warm, chocolatey, terracotta-y brown. And we're just gonna go right in. So, like I was saying, Spencer and I's wedding anniversary is this weekend. It's the 22nd of August. It's gonna be four years that we have been married this year, which is insane because for some reason it feels like we've been married for a hundred years and also one year at the same exact time. <laughs> like 
it just time goes so fast like I literally feel like my wedding was yesterday even though it wasn't and then at the same time I feel like my wedding happened a different lifetime ago like time is so weird but yeah this uh Saturday will be married for four years which is pretty crazy and we're not really doing anything big this year because well COVID first and foremost and secondly I think we'll probably do something bigger next year for five years so we're kind of just like taking it easy this year we are going to do a little road trip and go out of town so I'm tickling my face. We are going to do a little road trip and go out of town, but I'm not exactly sure on all of the details. Spencer kind of took the reins over on this one this weekend. Usually I do the majority of the planning when it comes to like trips that we take and Spencer kind of just took over on this one. So that's cool. So we're going to be doing that this weekend. It's kind of exciting for me. He kind of really only told me the town we're going to so that way I can like pre-plan my outfits, pre-plan like what I'm packing, what I need to wear, mainly outfits. Like I feel like I plan all my vacations based on what I'm going to wear when I'm there. Like I was actually just talking to my friends about this the other day. Like I was like, I really want to do like a Wyoming vacation just because I can already pre-plan the outfits in my head or like, Ooh, I want to do like a bougie ski resort vacation. Even though I hate being cold, I hate the snow. I'm not a snow sports person. I'm like, I can really envision myself looking super cute in a lodge. Like, I'm just picturing all the great outfits I could have. So, I have to pack tonight for our little trip. But, I'm pretty excited. I feel like we haven't really, like, been out of the house in months. We haven't really done anything other than just going, like, my best friend lives next door. So we go there or we go to like Spencer's parents house, which is out of town, but like not really or we've gone on like some mini just little like day trip road trips. I feel like we've been spending a lot of time outdoors this year. Like we went backpacking where I got attacked by bugs and then we went camping again. So we've kind of really been spending a lot of outdoor time this summer versus how we normally spend summers. We usually like go out of town a lot more in the summers. Have then you guys like actually really traveled so far this year? I feel like I'm seeing now especially. I don't know what it is about like this past few days. I've noticed a lot of people online have been like actually traveling like going onto planes or going to Malibu or Vegas. Like I've just been seeing a lot more people traveling right now and I kind of like I wonder why like is the people just kind of getting like a little cooped up staying at home so they're feeling like they're needing to go out or what Ryan Little <laughs> Okay, I'm done with the eyes for now. Let's move on to the face and talk about something real serious that's been on my mind lately. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I, firstly, I'm going in with this Laneige uh, Glowy Makeup Serum. I have been loving this. Like, you guys know that I use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, like, every single day. I've been using this guy instead. It kind of gives me, like the same effect kind of you know it's like just really glowy which is all I ever want I don't love the uh, little dropper though it doesn't really pick up as much as I would like it to okay back to what I was saying I really wish that I was a Twilight Stan hear me out Okay, Twilight came out when I was in middle school and every single person I was friends with was obsessed with it. Like, I had a friend who was, like, the most serious Twilight stand ever that she literally, like, went on her computer at home and I'm not hating on her, okay? I am not hating on her at all. And she, like, typed up, 
like a bunch of quotes from the movies and stuff in like crazy fonts and like printed them out and like basically made a wallpaper for her room of Twilight posters, of quotes that she printed out, of pages of books. Like she was a Twilight stan. She even got, I remember distinctly for Christmas, her parents bought her the like contacts that made your eyes look like Edward's eyes, you know, like that kind of like yellowy color or whatever. And she wore them all the time. So originally I was really turned off by Twilight. I think because like all of my girlfriends were so super obsessed and I actually never read the books. I know, I never read the books. I've always been like a huge Harry Potter stan, Lord of the Rings. Like that's more of my vibe. Like I love Lord of the Rings. I love Harry Potter. I grew up on Harry Potter. I literally went to the premiere of every single Harry Potter movie from the very first one. Like I was six years old when the very first one came out and I went with my mom who was really excited about it. So we went to the premiere. So I literally went to every premiere of the Harry Potter movies. Like Harry Potter was just like always my thing. And so I think that also when Twilight came out, I was a hater. Like I was just really hating on it because my friends were super obsessed. Every girl around me was super obsessed. And also like I was super into Harry Potter. So I was just like, you can't like both. Like what? That's blasphemous. Um, I'm going to take the Bare Minerals. What is this called? Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I'm going to use this. So anyways, I was never really into it. And then I saw the movies. So I watched the movies and the thing about Twilight is I feel like it has every element of things that I love. <laughs> like the soundtracks, amazing. There's no arguing it. Twilight has some of the best music in their movies. Like the music fits the vibe of the movies so much. I love the aesthetics. I live in the Pacific Northwest. I love that dark, moody, woodsy, like fall aesthetic the movies have going on. I love the idea of a person being in a love triangle with a vampire and a werewolf. Like I, I love everything like that. I love Supernatural. I love Buffy. I've seen almost every vampire movie ever. I've seen, I've watched Teen Wolf. Like I am just in to that genre. Like I love YA. I love more like supernaturally type stuff. Like I love the show Supernatural. I love dramas. Like something about Twilight just never really clicked for me. And I have watched all of the movies. I even rewatched them all recently with my husband. And I always feel like when I watch them, like I want to love them so much because I love everything that it is, but I hate it <laughs> while I'm watching it. I hate the dialogue. I hate the like love triangle drama. Like I hate both of the guys. Like I'm not team Edward or team Jacob. I mean, if I had to pick, I think I would pick Edward, but I think they both suck. I think Bella sucks. <laughs> like they all suck. So I guess they're perfect for each other. Really? Like if anything, I guess I'm team Alice. Maybe, maybe team I don't know. See, that's the thing is like, I feel like I still don't even know, but like there's so many things about it that I hate. Like I hate how controlling both Edward and Jacob are and how it represents that like just abusive relationships, controlling relationships. Like there's so many things about it. I just, okay. If you have seen the movies, if you're a Twilight stand and you're watching this, I hope you agree with me. The scene where I sound like a lunatic talking about this right now. The scene where Jacob finds out that they're engaged and gets all pouty and pissed off and like runs away and is like standing on the cliff top and is like, oh, my life is over. I'm going to be a werewolf now. Blah, blah, blah. And then Bella chases after him and is like, let's make out. Like, kiss me on this romantic cliff top. Like, let's just make out. It's okay. Like, it's fine. It's cool. And Edward's just like, what? Like, what even is that scene? Can you imagine? Can, like, just, I'm sitting here imagining I'm engaged to this dude who I'm supposedly head over heels with, in love with, like, I'm gonna die if he's not around, okay? And then my friend, who, they try to act like they've been lifelong friends, but really not really because she hasn't seen him since she was a child, Okay. Then my friend gets all pissed off at me because he likes me, but I don't like him, supposedly. But I don't like him, whatever. 
So he gets mad at me for getting engaged. So I'm like, well, let's make out. What? That scene makes me, every time I watch it, it makes me so angry because I'm like, this makes no sense. Like, this is clearly like a, it, to me, it feels like something that I would have came up with in middle school. Like, that I honestly feel like I could have came up with this storyline in middle school. Like, isn't it kind of like every girl's dream, right? To have two dudes pawning over her like that and especially like a vampire and a werewolf like I I get it I so get it but there's so many things about it that I hate <laughs> like I hate it so much but I want to be a stan and the reason why I've been thinking about this so much lately is because that new book came out Midnight Sun which is Edward's perspective but I don't is it his perspective through all the books is it his perspective just for like the first book like Honestly, it makes no sense to me why she rewrote the story just in his perspective. I I don't know. I guess I should probably read the books. But what I'm getting at here is I think I want to read all the books because I'm so curious about this new book coming out. And I love memes people make of Twilight. Like whenever I see a Twilight meme, I love it. It's hilarious to me. I don't know what it is. They're just gold. It's just like a cultural reset, I feel like. Like something about it. I'm just feeling the vibes. I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. I haven't used this guy in a while. I've been only using my Fenty. So I figured I might as well jump on and grab and use something else. But yeah, I think I wanna read the books, which is why I've been thinking about it so much lately because maybe I, if I read the books, I'll have a different feeling for it because I want to like it so bad. Like everything about it I like except for I hate it. <laughs> I like I it is so funny because I really like Robert Pattinson. I really like Kirsten. I always call her Kirsten Stewart but it's Kristen Stewart. I don't know why I always say Kirsten. I don't know why. I really like her. I like other movies they've been in. I think they're good actors and I think they suck in these movies. Like, I, I'm honestly a little nervous talking about this because I don't want, like, all the Twilight stands to come for me. But don't come for me because I want to be one of you, okay? I'm working on it. So I think I'm going to read the books this fall. Like, I think it'll just be, like, a good fall thing for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If you are interested in me doing, like, a follow-up video where I talk about the books and my thoughts please let me know in the comments down below because I've done one video in the past where I talk about books. It was kind of at the beginning of COVID where I just made a, just like a list of books that I love, books that I'm going to be reading, just like books I think people should read. Like I kind of did one of those. Like, so if you're interested in me doing a little, do you hear that beeping? Someone's backing up. If you're interested in me doing like a, I don't even know if it's a book review, but just kind of like my thoughts on the books, let me know because I am happy to share that. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be doing this fall. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's super popular on TikTok right now too. You know, the song, I don't even want to sing it because I don't want to deal with like uh, getting flagged, but it's like. You know what I'm talking about? That song, it's like the fucking quintessential Twilight, like... You know what I mean? Every time I see a video with that sound on it, it cracks me up. Like, it makes me laugh so hard, and I just, I don't know, I want to be a stan, so I'm going to be reading those books. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Let me know if you're a Twilight lover, if you're a Twilight hater, like... Tell me what it is, because I still watch the movies. Like, I don't watch them all the time. I think I definitely will, like, watch them in, like, the winter or the fall because, well, the soundtrack's great. Uh, yeah, so just let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Another update on shows I've been watching. I finished the second season of Umbrella Academy in, like, two days. Are we surprised? Me and Spencer are straight busted out. That show is too good. Um, I'm going to take the Oma Beauty 
I'm going to take the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. I always forget this concealer is just like a little bit too dark. OMG, did you guys see on Netflix this like show, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, but basically it's about a bunch of 10 year old girls that twerk. Like, I'm all about twerking, okay? Twerking's hot. I love it. I love watching it. I love pretending like I could do it. It's great, but I do think it's a little suspect that Netflix put out a show that's just about a bunch of 10 year old, mainly white, girls twerking. I think that seems a little inappropriate, doesn't it? Just a little inappropriate, I think, but whatever. A little weird. Yeah, I saw just like the trailer for the show, like it was on my, you know, just like in the new on Netflix or whatever. And I kind of was just like, this is a little weird, right? Like, Netflix, you know there's perverts out there, right? <laughs> like, I'm going to take that same Oma Beauty Concealer right under my eyes. Have you guys listened to WAP yet? I mean, if you haven't, are you living under a rock? Because I feel like everyone's heard it now. Like, even my uh, mother and father-in-law have heard the song. <laughs> um, I love it. I know it's getting a lot of hate right now, which... Dumb. Why? I love it. Me and Spencer, honestly, it's been stuck in our head. Just, like, certain lines from it. And we can't stop saying it. And I love the music video. I just, like, I'm a fan of dirty songs. Like, I just love it. Male or female. I just love a good dirty song. And I loved the video. I just thought that the video was so cool. I love the part in the video where they're in that, like, factory and everything's, like, lime green and purple and it's like they're on these, like, conveyor belts. I just think that part is so dope. I will say though, ever since I actually Cardi retweeted it, the video someone made where they took Ben Shapiro's face and put it over her face, because like, you know, he did that thing where he read the lyrics. They put his face over her face in the music video and they put in his audio. And it's hilarious because it's, it's just so funny. Like listening to him say the lyrics over the music video is just, it is so funny because I, his voice, the way he's saying it, everything. So now when I listen to the song, like in the back of my head, I low key hear him reading the lyrics and it makes the song like so funny to me. <music> OMG. Okay. The other day I was making my bed as adults do probably one of my least favorite chores. If I'm going to be real with you. So I was making my bed and I grabbed all of the pillows off the ground. Like we have, you know, like just like throw pillows or whatever. And so I'm grabbing the pillows off the ground. I'm throwing them on the bed and I'm fluffing them. And I grab the last little throw pillow and I noticed there's something on it. And I like finally realized it was a giant spider. Like the spider was probably like, I don't know, this big with its legs. Like it was so humongous right where my hand was, like I literally picked that pillow off the ground. So that spider was probably on the pillow on the ground. I took a really shitty low quality picture of it. I'll put it up here on screen, but honestly the picture sucks. Okay. So I have been having like a major me getting attacked by bug issues this year. You guys know me and Spencer went backpacking and I got just demolished by the bugs and then they finally started to go away and we try not to use like a lot of chemicals like in our garden and stuff so we just get you know spiders and stuff in the house and I woke up with a few bug bites on my body so I was like Spencer like can you please at least spray the bedroom with bug stuff because we have the air conditioning in the window so I think that there's probably like a little crack or something that the bugs are getting in so he's like okay fine so then he sprayed so the next day I see this spider on the pillow and it just happened to be that he left the spray in the bedroom. So I grab it and I swear to God, the spider knew what I was doing because like the second I like pull it up to spray him, like I go to pull the nozzle, he jumps from the pillow into the comforter that's like, you know, just 
messed up on the bed because I'm in the process of making the bed and I just shut the bedroom door and I didn't go back in there. I sent Spencer in there when he got home to find the spider and take care of it, if you know what I mean. And I haven't seen another spider since. But then after that, we went camping and I got attacked by bugs again. Like, it's so weird because I feel like I normally don't get that many bug bites. And this year, like, my blood is just tasting different, I think, because the bugs are really liking me this year. And so it's making me nervous to go back out into the wilderness because of that. I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. I'll take this guy right here and just do a light little bronze. I'm still loving this Real Technique brush. And then I'm going to take some of this right here. This is from Essence. This is the Pure Nude Sunlighter. This is a highlight they have. It's obviously way too deep of a tone for my skin tone. If you had a deeper skin tone, this would be a beautiful, affordable highlight for you. Um, this one is in the shade Beat My Sunlight. I'm going to take this just on this Luxie brush and run it right over my bronzer, almost like a bronzer topper, just to add some luminosity. I really like those Fenty bronzers, but they are a matte bronzer and I tend to prefer a luminous bronzer. So just quickly throw that right over the areas I bronzed just to add a little bit of glow back in the face. And then I'm going to go in with this cream blush from Honest Beauty. This is the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush in the shade Coral Peach. I haven't used this shade yet, but I have used a couple other shades and I really like this formula. Just dab that right on the cheeks. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. buffing foundation brush to blend that out. How do you guys feel about IG Reels. So it's the new uh, feature. Is it called a feature? It's a new thing that Instagram put out. It's basically TikTok pretty much except for it's only 15 seconds and there isn't as many like editing options. But it's like Instagram's version of TikTok and then it goes on your feed and then in like a separate area kind of like IGTV. Uh, I've been using it just because like Instagram is so weird like Instagram is the weirdest app ever it's really hard to get engagement unless you really keep up on like what Instagram wants you to do so I've been doing reels and I don't know how I feel about them like I don't know I also don't know how I feel about TikTok TikTok like I've always had kind of a harder time with TikTok because I just feel like I don't know I just feel weird about it I am going to put a little bit of powder blush on this is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Bare Peach it's just a really nice neutral peachy shade and I'm actually going to take that same Luxie brush I used for the bronzer topper and just use this to add some blush yeah but I don't know I've always like like I do post on TikTok but I kind of never felt like TikTok was like my strongest uh app that I use but yeah basically Instagram is trying to be TikTok now because of all the TikTok drama, I guess. I can't keep up. It's like a little bit too much for me. But I have been using IG Reels. I don't know. I just find TikTok to be funnier. <laughs> like when I've been looking through the IG Reels, I feel like it's a lot of people just recycling some of their TikToks. So who knows? Okay, let's work on the lower lash line here. I'm going to go in with this 
uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Vivid. I actually got this when I got the Urban Decay Wired Palette. This was one of the liners that came out in that. So I'm going to line my lower waterline and then smudge it on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the blue shadow from this palette, the shadow Evil Eye right here. And I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and smudge that out as well. So... God, my eyes always water. I haven't worn eyeliner in so long. I need to get real close and personal right now with this mirror. Does anyone else's eyes always water when they put eyeliner on? Because I swear to God, I can't put eyeliner on without my eyes watering like crazy. Where's the cap? Where is the cap? Here it is. Okay, Urban Decay makes great eyeliners if you are in the market for some good eyeliners. They have like a million different colors too. So let me go in with this palette and I'm just going to grab a little pencil brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. Go right into that evil eye shade. And I don't really want to bring it down too low. Like I'm not looking to like really buff it out. It's more just to like set... That eyeliner that I put on. Ooh, pretty. Haven't done a little bright lower lash line in a while. Okay, what do I have next here? What am I missing? Let's go in with some highlight. This is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This used to be like the most banging highlight. So I'm just gonna go in and highlight all the regular spots. Oh yeah, still banging. Okay, I am going to set my face using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Set the brows with just some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Sweet. Okay, and I am going to pop off camera real quick and throw on my mascara, and then we'll come back to do the lip. This is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I have really grown to love this mascara. When I first used it, I was like, oh, it's okay, it's all right. But now that I've used it a few more times, I really, really like it. So let's do my lips. I recently pulled this out of my collection. I used to use this constantly. This was like my favorite liquid lip. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ohm. And I like to mix it with the shade Infamous. It's just like a award-winning combo for me. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not even going to go in with a lip liner. Um, first, I'm going to go in with the shade Ohm. <sighs> they smell so good. It actually legitimately a thousand percent smells like hot chocolate powder. Like when you open like, you know, a package of Swiss Miss and you give it a whiff, that's what this smells like. I think that these liquid lipsticks were severely underrated because first of all, they feel like they're whipped. Like it feels so lightweight and it is matte, but it doesn't like completely dry out your whole mouth. Like I feel like a lot of times with liquid lipsticks, the reasons why I really didn't like them is because they felt super drying. Like the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks or even like the Smashbox ones, which I do like, they are more drying. And I felt like these never dried my lips out they really don't have that many shades though, so I think, hold on. So I think that was the reason maybe they weren't that popular because there wasn't that many shades, but. And then layer right on top of that with the shade, what shade is this, this Weekend? I'll use this one, with the shade Weekend. Ryan Littman. <laughs> Cute. And then I'm going to top that with 
a gloss, of course. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow, which is like the original universal shade. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Let's take the hair down. Look at myself. Cute. Man, I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now. I haven't worn this much makeup in a hot minute, I feel like, but I was just feeling so inspired today. I think probably because I just got my hair done. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this style of video. Kind of more of me just being super chatty, talking about what's on my mind while I'm getting ready because I can do that all the time. That's super easy for me. I could talk. I could talk for days, okay? Uh, so let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you're a Twilight stan or if you're not a Twilight stan. Let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post a video every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.